practice that they got really paid off because, you know, we could see it yesterday yeah. in the team tournament because he was just playing so solid. So, you know, that's the type of, that's the type of effort and dedication that really gets rewarded. I'll tell you what. On the first knockdown, Crackfiend always did in the X head, but we'll see if that carries over today. Because against Team Sea Slug, you know, Makoto, dude, Sea Slug is definitely one of the strongest Makotos that we have down here. Yeah, he's he's a scientist. Yeah, he's a scientist, man. He and knows all the stuff. He plays like a crazy person. Like, this guy records every one of his matches at Wednesday Night Fights and nice. analyzes them every night after That's what you uh, gotta do. Yeah. Dude, if you're trying to be on, on the level of these guys, that's exactly what you gotta do. I mean, you gotta put in more work or smarter work, or you gotta put in something than what your opponents are doing. And that's the type of dedication that we have here on the West Coast. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for command grab. So this match, man, I, dude, this match sucks. Like, it's, I, I think like on paper, it's in Balrog's favor. But dude, when she knocks you down, like what can you do? You know, because she has an option select where, um, you know, she catches the back dash with the with uh, the dash punch, and you know she gets safe jumps after uh, after the yes uh, chop. <laughs> yeah, the chop. And her damage output obviously is insane. She's, I, th I think she's a lot better. Some Makoto's disagree, but the fact that she can do EX, the fact that EX uh, uppercut hits on the ground and you get the reset situation after that, dude, to me that's major. Because that that is never hit on the ground in any Street Fighter game, whether it's Third Strike or Street Fighter 4. And now, looks like uh, Team Sea Slug's got this one under control. LPN gonna go up and uh, give Crackfiend some words of wisdom. We'll see what kind of adjustments that uh, Crack Fiend is going to make here. That, uh, that was looking really convincing from Team Sea Slug. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, Team Sea Slug does obviously know this matchup, playing Kino every week. Definitely. I don't know if there's a lot of Makoto players up, up north. Well, Kelvin was for a while, right? Oh, yeah. But now Kelvin's using a Hugo. Yeah. Ooh. All right, Crackfiend. Nah, got a nice little life lead here. But you always gotta be worried that Makoto's just gonna run in and do something crazy. But she is unsafe on all of the dash punches. So that's not a valid way to get in usually. Oh man. Yeah, I, I like how Crackfiend is just playing it slow. That's something that drives oh. Makoto players crazy. That All right, now what's the setup? He's still alive, but she gets the setup. Ooh. Looks like it's kind of a normal set. If, okay, so, yeah, it's totally worth it. Yeah, I'm sure Crackfeet didn't want to spend the bar like that. But to win the first round, and, and it was, she only starts with one bar, it's totally worth it. Especially considering the fact that if he would have lost that round, he would have oh, been one that round away. Yeah, that would have been terrible. Good block on the overhead. Nice. Ah, right. uh, interesting. See, I, I don't like him uh, jumping back like that after the wake up because the thing is, like, you have to, you have to like prove, you have to make him do something. Okay. I always feel like Makoto's will tend to backdash. Okay, all right, big damage here. Uh, see, that one, it was kind of risky to go in right there, in my opinion. Okay, all right, big damage. There we go. Yeah, I like him using the EX uh, on defense. Wow. I, I can't believe he got the crumple right there. I would have just ultraed after that. Yeah, he might have went on autopilot right there. But uh, Crackfiend, yeah, he's got a tiny life lead here. This could be it. So now Makoto's standing at a range where he thinks he can see him and uh, see him dash punch and punish with Ultra. Oh, uh, not from that range though. Crackfiend, back in it. Maybe uh, LPN's words of wisdom. Yeah, it worked. It worked. He's like, bro, just, just dash punch. Just dash punch. 
Hit her in the face a couple times, make her get another Nelly bandage. Yeah. You know? Another what? Nelly bandage? Remember how Nelly used to have a bandage on his face and the Makoto he's using has that bandage on her uh, face? Oh, I thought it was because he got in a lot of knife fights. <laughs> All right. So it's some jab pressure to start. Man, I, dude, it's, it's not something that you see a lot of Borrow players do. Is he's basically buffering uh, crouching medium. Mm. With the perfect? Oh, dude, just, dude, got it. All right, John, what's the, what's the ruling on, on pauses? There is no ruling on pauses. Yeah, I mean, it was dude, dizzy, okay. right? Nah, but look, they're still fighting. This is the thing. Dude, okay. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, this same thing happened. Oh See? my god. See? This is what I'm talking about. All right. The same thing happened at uh, Summer Jam. Uh, somebody paused. Somebody fighting Ricky paused. And uh, Ricky paused by accident. He didn't take the round. And there was this big debate as to whether or not he should have taken the round. And there was the, and basically what K-Brad was saying, which I totally agree with, is that the rule, there has to be a rule instated that says if the player pauses, there is no option to take the rule. There, there is no option to take the round. You just get the round automatically, end of story. Mm -hmm. Because what ends up happening is that reputations are ruined because if you don't want to look like an asshole for taking the round or whatever, or you don't want to like ruin your rep, then that can end up costing you. And that's what happened last time. And uh, I don't forget who he was playing, but Ricky, dude. It was <laughs> it, he would have he would have won the game and then Ricky ended up destroying him. Now in this situation, the same thing happened, hmm. right? So crack feed, it sh it wasn't it wasn't even a question, but it should just it should have just been like an automatic like boom that's it. Even though he was so close to death, because especially with a character like McCall, dude, it's it's done. Oh my gosh, dude. But you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. It should have just been like whoa, stop, pause. Take the round, start the next round, that's it. So a lot of people are debating it. I mean, is that where people are ending up right now? Is uh, that I mean, I, I don't know. That was just the argument that K-Brad, because I was always under the impression, like, nah, like, it kind of sucks to take the round. But K-Brad made that argument that your reputations are ruined like that. Um, and, you know, if, it, if it's just what? not even left up to you, uh, whatever. Oh, All right. okay. Well, Crack Fiend right. wins anyways. Oh, 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 I lost to him one time. He did like wake up ultra with Makoto to me. I lost to him. I'm like, dude, I'll punch this guy in the face. He's that kind of player. So it's very gratifying for me personally <laughs> to see a player like Crackbeat beat him and then pop off. <laughs> oh man. <gasps> that was uh, ah! that was the pop off of the tournament. Ah! Ah! Wow. Crackbeat. Ah, welcome to West Coast Warzone, everybody. <laughs>